we go. There we go. Sorry, I had it muted. <laughs> Forgot to unmute it. Can you hear me now, guys? It might be a little loud. Let me turn it back down. Turn it back down a little bit. Can you hear me now? Good. Can you hear me now? I didn't hear anything. Now it's fine. Thanks, Jackie. Thanks. That's what's up, bro. All right, so we in here. Let's go. Let's play some games. Where are we from, guys? Thanks for uh, the support, man. Stream is never great without you guys. It's fine. We can hear you. Thanks, bro. All good. You're missing the link. Goodbye. I don't know what that means. Okay, it's time to go. Let's go. Let's see who we playing. 2131 Tao Zinho. I played him before. He's pretty good. C3. We're going to play a C3 Sicilian. I'm a C3 Sicilian kind of guy. C3 Sicilian, guys. I love playing this. So, oh, let's play E5. I always play E5 to push up on the knight. Play knight F3, D4. All this stuff is pretty good. Knight F3. Let's see what we got in here. Knight F3 is pretty good. Just defending, developing, easy stuff. C3 Sicilian guy all day, baby. That's the way to go. If you got the book, it's a yellow book. Um, I actually got it right here. The Complete C3 Sicilian by Evgeny Sveshnikov. That's how you say his name. It's very nice. So, pretty nice. Pawn takes, pawn takes. So, there's some tricks in here. Let's see if he plays D6. D6, we got a knight C3. E6, that's eh, fine. That's fine. I'll be fine. Knight takes, pawn takes. So, he's going to play D6. I'm going to take on D6. Bishop D3, all that stuff. Yeah, you're welcome, Jackie. No problem, bro. No problem with that. Bishop D3. Okay. Send you a message on Discord if you've got a minute. Okay. Cool, cool. What's up, Spari? Man, you was that guy in Planet Chess on his uh, stream, bro. You were funny, dog. You were actually really funny. Appreciate you, man. Thanks for coming to the stream, guys. Bishop d6. So I am ready to attack him. Usually when you have this isolated pawn here on d4 or e4, it's time to attack them. Like, that's what you do. It's like attack mode. It's time to get him. So let's see what we got here. He castled. I got queen e2 to go to e4. This is usual stuff I'm used to. Yeah, g moves is my homie. That's Jack Wood. That's Jack Wood. Uh, we played many times. He's from Michigan. Can I take on h7? If I take on h7, so this is where my tactics come into play. Tactics is everything, guys. Bishop takes, knight g5, queen g5. Oh, I want to do this so bad. Queen g4, f5. Oh, queen h4, though. Uh, when you have the time to adjust the camera, your face is cut in half. Oh, thanks, bro. Let me check that out real quick. See where I'm at. Let's see if that's better. Is that better? Yeah, I'm 2297, pushing like a GM though. You know, I haven't played in many, many tournaments past the ones I've played in the last two years. So, G moves what? That's my coach. What? <laughs> Jack's your coach, man. That's awesome, bro. Thanks for it. Thanks. Appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Queen D3 or Queen G3. I got some moves here. Maybe Queen G4, Queen H4. Because he's going to play F5. That's what's annoying. Queen G4, F5, maybe. Queen h4. I can't play queen g3. That's why we play this. And that's why that's a good move. So I still got to figure something out here. All right, let's do this. I'm going to check him and play rook e1. And then maybe queen h3 to try to trick him. Yeah, let's see what happens. So I had to sack that piece. I didn't have to, but I just think it's very interesting to do that. I don't know what that is, big dog. Okay, nice. Takes. Excuse me. Knight takes e6, knight b5. Uh, he's trying to play some strong chess here, guys. Strong, strong chess. Knight f3, bishop e3. I'm just going to have to slow this down. His king is at least in the center, plus I'm out of time, almost. Oh, yeah. Definitely, definitely. You're welcome, Jackie. That's what we do, man. Trying to get a... Uh... I like to be informative. Oh, very good. Cute move. Cute move. Knight takes, queen, and then bishop takes. So I get two for the king, I mean for the queen, but I have to move the queen. So, uh, guys, I'm just going to go ahead and resign this one. Um, How do I do that, though? I'm supposed, it's supposed to be a resign button right here. But I guess I can't resign anymore? What is that about? Abort and draw. Oh, it's right here. I guess it's just weird. Okay, cool, cool. So we'll get out of here with that one. Just a test run and get the kinks out real quick. <laughs> So we good. Thanks. Appreciate it, Jackie. It's all good. Can't you just move the king? Yes, you're right. Too weak. Um, too slow. Yes, I can't just move the king. 
But then he takes the rook, and it, it's just rough to play that. Two pieces for the queen is not resign worthy. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, I see that. I'm just playing on a higher level, man. So I'm just giving the respect on that. Just give him the respect. Get out of here with that. So we'll just go. New game. New fresh everything. Let's crack this guy. He's Alakine. So what do you think he about to play? Alakine fan. He's probably going to play Knight F6. And he didn't. He's weird. Very weird. You're an Alakine fan, but then you play E6. So we're going to play a French winner. I actually learned a lot from Roman Dijihashvili. His last name is like probably 26 letters, which is the whole alphabet. So at the same time, um, he is really, really good. So I learned a lot of my stuff from him. I took some lessons with him and read a lot of his books and stuff. So we're going to play. He's supposed to play a6, and he didn't. So now what? Knight b5? No, nah, knight f3. Just whatever. Let's see what he does. I wouldn't resign two pieces going to anyone below 2550. <laughs> Sparry, bro, you are the man, bro. Please come back every day, dog. You're funny. You're funny, man. Takes. See what happens. Queen d2. So queen d2 is the move I'm going to make here. I'm going to probably play c5. I'm going to castle queen side. There we go. Castle queen side and attack him. Usually in these lines, it gets very deadly for both sides. It depends on um, who's first. They always say a uh, person that gets, if they castle on both sides, the person that gets there first is the one that wins. And that is the goal. I have to play king b1, but maybe not right now. King b1, knight e5, h3, g4, bishop d3, maybe. Knight e5, h3, what is he threatening? Really nothing. Let's just step the king over. Always play king b1. They always say that. You have to play king b1, guys. Knight e5, h3, g4, bishop d3. Let's go at h3. Let's go at h3 and then g4. You know, I have to say it is a little bit more difficult playing and talking at the same time because I'll be moving faster too. But at the same time, I love this. And that was a weird move, by the way, guys. Let's play knight g5 because I'm still hanging. d7 is still hanging. Maybe I should have took first and then take on e6. <laughs> that probably was better because he can probably move the rook over and be okay. I can't really develop my bishop anywhere strong. That was crazy. What are you doing? What's your rating again? Okay, all right. Well, we gonna do that. We're going to take this and then check him if he uh, acts crazy. If he do something stupid, we're going to take on e6. Okay, he did something stupid. Um, this is checkmate. Any way that you look at it. Wow. I'm gonna wait. Where's the mate, guys? Oh, okay. Well, he uh, he resigned. But real quickly. Just checking out the mate. King G8, right? He misses that. I know it's check. You're right. Too weak, too slow. He missed the check. So knight H6 check. King F8 runs strictly into queen F7 mate. And then king H8. Boom. Tough rook on D1 was hanging. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? I know. That check is serious, isn't it? King G8, rook takes. Knight F7 mate. Get him out of here, coach. Good game. And uh, put him on the bench. So next next one professional something professor this guy always challenges me so I'm gonna play him some games guys because this guy always challenges me so what's up professor in Jala hopefully you're in this chat in the chat in the stream he misses his tough rook smother thanks bro yeah I know it was coming G6 I always play the accelerated dragon I'm an accelerated dragon guy I love the Sicilians but the accelerated Accelerated Dragon, I've had my best. I probably, honestly, I've lost maybe two games in the last five years in tournament chess um, off of playing this system for black against E4. So, very, very uh, successful system. Always put develop the bishop first. He don't know what he's doing. That is not the book. So, this is out. I consider this out already. Good game, coach. Give me another one. Okay, who's next? Yes, yes, wow, e6, so my, my plan is to put a knight on f5 and push f6 after I castle, yep, open games all the time, check, nope, knight c3, so open games all the time, I mean, my favorite my favorite player before Magnus was Bobby Fischer, and Bobby Fischer is an open game guy, what do you play against the c4 lines, you mean, uh, uh, too weak, too slow, do you mean the English c4, c5 lines, or, uh, are you just talking, well, you, you mean, um, like, English c4, move one, or you mean, uh, Sicilian, um, C4 lines. F6. Yeah, this is a great game for me. He did stop my knight F5. 
which could be annoying sometimes, but of course his king's a little weird looking, so. C4 Accelerated Dragon, so that those are usually a lot of draw lines. You know Plonic? I don't, I don't know Plonic, sorry. Oh, Plonic Cecilia? I don't think I know that one, buddy. I don't, I don't think I know that one. Bishop takes, Bishop takes I think wins a pawn, because I can take back with the knight, because he wants to take on E6 with check. But I can take, and then I also have F3 coming in with the knight. Uh, back to UT, too weak, too slow. The C4 Accelerated Dragon. That move there is, um, the C4 Accelerated Dragon is pretty, is pretty tight for white. Oh, hold up. Let me give me, let me figure out what he's doing real quick, because I'm still playing. Rook takes, then Queen B6, maybe. He can move the bishop, uh, not looking too good there. How about Rook F7? So maybe he does get that pawn back. I thought he couldn't. I thought he couldn't. Rook f7, queen takes e6. Then what? Oh, I can take on b2, though. I can take on b2, and then what? And then what? And I got 95s. Let's go rook e7. Because b2 is hanging, and when my knight gets to d4, it's going to be a problem. This is not... His pieces aren't coordinated, guys. You got to check that out. Coordination is very important when you got pieces on the board, and you don't see coordination here at all. Yeah, he played knight c3. Logical move. He got to do something to stop me from doing that. So if I let him take the pawn and I get off knight d4, oh, that doesn't win anymore, huh? Okay, so we just got to defend. Maybe queen d6. Looks good. Defends the pawn and gets the queen off the back rank. Okay. Yep, guys. Hey, uh, thanks, uh, thanks, Nightbot. Follow me on Twitter if you got Twitter, at GMCanty. That would be nice. I am a national master on paper, on paper. But I am a grandmaster uh, and everything else. So I am working on that. But uh, yeah, follow me on Twitter, guys. E5. I think E5 is good. I got to move a little faster, too. Um, yeah, that Accelerated Dragon, though, just back on that. That Accelerated Dragon is pretty tough to play against. You have to play literally a few different lines. And, excuse me, you're going to find that it's very slow. It's very slow for both sides. And it looks very drawish at the end. For me, this is like masterclass. I'm only playing five months. I'm old. I'm old. Fifty-two rated, maybe two. <laughs> masterclass. <laughs> yeah, the masterclasses are good too. They got a Gary Kasparov masterclass too, bro. It's so. Uh, I saw that too. I was like, oh, masterclass got a uh, got a thing on there. So uh, yeah. Oh, actually, guys, hey, join my chess my uh, my club. Nightbot just posted it. Let me move real quick. So um, I have a new chess club on chess.com. It is called the GM Factory. Yeah, I know, bro. No, the check don't work. Queen F6 can take. But uh, I do have... Um, I have... Uh, hey, thanks for that. Two week, too slow. Because um, that just woke me up a little bit. If this knight moves, I can go queen g3 check. And he's not going to do that. And I'm running out of time as we speak. So I need to do something immediately. B5. Let's try that. He's probably trying to go for a knight g5. I need to move my king out the way. So that's probably what I'm going to do next move. Yeah, let's get out of the way. Let's get out of dodge. Yeah, man, that queen g3 check would have been nasty, right? But I missed it uh, if he if I had time to. Queen d5. I'm just moving now at this point, man, because it's... Uh... Oh, I'm playing this 1900 too? Hold up, bro. I mean, let me uh, zone in real quick. Stop playing around with this guy. Whoa. Give me a sec. might lose on time and that's not a good thing guys let's not speak that into existence though let's go queen x f7 i don't know bro there's a lot going on right now i'm sorry we'll check the, the film later oh, bishop takes this is losing i'm losing right now oh he took it wow he fell for the bait my lag is not that good though Lags a little bad. Sorry for that.
Yep, sorry guys. There's a little lag there. So I'm gonna have to play some longer time controls. No problems. Oh yeah, everybody's great in here, man. Everybody's great. Yes, nice. Fork on E2 works, yeah. So I'm going to have to play some five minute games because I guess this internet's garbage. Oops, did it again. And two weeks too slow. Did it again. Stop posting. Like, hey man, it's all good. Kill by lag. Chess.com sucks that way. <laughs> yeah, you're right, bro. Kill by the lag, right? Oh my goodness. I uh, know. And then I lost to this weaker player. 1948. Get him out of here, coach. No, I'm kidding. Good job getting to class A. And good job winning that game, man. No problem, man. It's just, it is what it is. So I have to just uh, move faster or play longer time controls right now due to the internet. So let's go to my five minute and click play. Let's do this. Oh, cool. We got another national master. This should be fun. Come to Vienna. God darn it. <laughs> All right, let's go. E4. Let's see what he plays. Play some five minute chess. A little slower. Oh, cool. Perfect. Uh, I love E5, guys. I am a Scotch Gambit master. So I'm actually going to be recording videos and starting a DVD series on the Scotch Gambit and every opening that I actually play. So look out for that, guys. I will have that in the near future. Bishop B5. So this is easy stuff. This is all book. I don't even have to think on this. Bishop D7 taking. Yep, take. And then Bishop C5, I had uh, Bishop E3. Yep. Castle. Oh, taken with this piece. So this head, this does nothing. Usually pawn takes is the way to go, even though you double the pawns. But now I can get an easy f4, f5, f6 in, and he could be lost very quickly, depending on what he plays. He is still a national master, so I don't call the game. But, of course, you always feel better when you play something you know and you're comfortable with. And that's exactly the situation I'm in right now. So it's a good thing about knowing and doing good openings, guys. Knowing your openings. It's only a guide to get you through everything else. And you see, he's thinking. He is thinking. I am not. I know what I'm going to do. F5 immediately. So I can push F6. Knight C3 is coming. I feel you there. Yeah, Jackie. It's, uh, it's pretty awesome to be able to know your stuff, man. Openings are just a guide to get to the middle game and you need tactics and good just chess period to get through the rest of it Fundamentals and principles and things like that. Yes. Yes Yes, what's your rating Jackie? What are you rating? You said you're 1200 or 1500 or what? I just heard a notification guys. I am not that advanced yet on OBS so I don't know what that was, but whoever and whatever it was, thank you so much um, for what you do and what you've done. Okay, so knight takes c3, pawn takes c3 is coming. If he doesn't take, uh, I want to go queen g4 and then try to attack him and destroy everything on the king's side. You have to think about it when you're playing. Like, what, which side would you rather be? Would you rather be white or would you rather be black in this position? So when you see it, you know it. It's easier to play. It's easier to play. He is not playing f6. So you're going to lose. I'm going to play f6 now. And this is going to be a rap coach. Um, put me uh, in the ring. 1,200. Okay, playing for five months. I must say I'm hooked. Yeah, man, me too. I mean, I remember I won $20,000 one year with uh, the Millionaire Chess back when I was around. Uh, oh, thanks a lot. Whatever that was, follow. I don't know right now, guys. I am so sorry what that was can i check it on here oh it was must i think it was a follow i think i think it was a follow chess kids is that who that was a new follower awesome sweet thanks for following chess kids we are here uh now let's go back in here queen h5 oh nice thank you a lot for uh for following that kind of took my mind away from the game for a second and gave me a better move so guys if you play in tournaments sometimes when it's your move and this is what i've noticed just playing all the tournaments I've played in, you can always uh, see a move and then come back to the board and you see a better move. And that's what I felt in this position just now. So thank you. Thank you, Chess Kids, for following because that took me away for a sec. Had to check it. Look good. I'm still up on time. It's harder for him to play this. Um, But you said 1,200. Jackie, the Swede, uh, playing for five months. I feel chess is like life. Yes, it is. It is. I excel 
and I don't brag and things like that, but I literally excel at a lot of things because I play chess. So he's going to play h6. I can maybe play queen g3. He just got a lot of weaknesses. Rookie one coming to defend his weak pawn on e5, which is also backward and isolated at the same time. So we do need to uh, put um, some uh, tender care on that one. Let's move it back to the center, see what we got here. Welcome to the chat room. Okay, knight h4, h6, queen g3. I think I'm just going to play knight h4. Oh, he's threatening that, though. Can he take that? Can he actually do that and get away with it? He's threatening my C2 pawn. Let's play Rook F2. That seems... And, the, and Rook F2 is usually played in these lines, too. So Rook F2 defends the C2 pawn, maybe double later if we get into an game or I actually need it. But this Rook on F2 is very handy. I don't have to worry about this file because I can always push. If he pushes the pawn, I can put a Knight on D4 and, like, put it in there. Life is chess. Space is important. Studio apartments suck. Feels amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Starcraft Gecko, welcome to the chat, man. You're awesome. Uh, yes, chess is life, buddy. Chess is life. Hey, guys, if you get a chance, uh, go to my Discord. I have the link in there. Nightbot just posted that for me. So um, we can get a, uh, a Discord going in there. Just started that up. So I'm still new to streaming, but loving it, man. Loving it. Loving doing um, chess full time. So it's awesome. Rookie one. And I can't let him catch up on time. So. What do we have here? Who else trying to get the right mindset? Absolutely. Mindset is where it starts, man. Starts in the mind. If you can see it, you can do it. And you can become it. Whatever that may be. Okay. H3, G4 is my goal. Because I can always play Queen H4 and Queen G3. That's my goal. Because I want to just, like, if you're playing black here, what do you do? I don't even know. I'm looking at everything else but the game at this point. Because I have very easy moves to make. Rook c8. Yes, very logical move. What are you doing with it, though? I don't know either. So we're going to uh, just play some moves and uh, win this game. And side piece if I have to. Also, when I'm playing g4, I can play rook h2, h4, h5 stuff. Like, I got, I knew he was going here. I don't know what he's trying to do, though, but I knew he was going here. So let's go. Oh, g4 runs into here, though. Knight, I mean, bishop e4. So maybe I should play queen h4 first. So I can counter knight e4 with knight g5. And uh, I am somebody has requested a private chat. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. What's up, man? What's going on? Is this a Talia? Maybe. I don't know. Queen h4. Let's go queen h4. Follow me on Twitter, guys. If you get a chance, at GM Canty. Just got that on here. Yo, what's up? I think this is a Talia. Is this a Talia Shetty on my, uh, my chat? What's up, bro? Want to play a game for the stream? <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> Gotta be five minute. Gotta be five minute. Internet sucks. Internet sucks. All right. Cool. So I think we're going to play a Tulia Shetty. If you guys know, private chats. I know, right? So a Tulia Shetty International Master is going to play next um what are you doing did you just sack a piece have you lost your freaking mind who is this what are you doing on me no he didn't sack a piece i'm gonna just act like he didn't i'm gonna just act like he didn't bro i'm gonna just act like he didn't sack a piece and just keep moving pieces like like it's nothing rookie two okay let's go here because uh, i just want to defend this c2 pawn i don't want him to get too many pawns Oh, don't private chat with a a butt, right? I had a private chat that guy was so nasty, so no more. <laughs> I mean, it happens, man. You know, it happens. Don't worry about them, bro. Just do you. I'm thinking about playing 95 h6 e6 pawn takes pawn takes takes check. That could be deadly. 95 h6 e6 pawn takes pawn takes here. He has to take queen h7 check. That's mate. No, he got there. He can go there. But it's close, and it does not look good. Okay, so let's do this. Knight g5 looks really good. So I'm going to play e6 next. Real nut case. <laughs> All right, let's see if this works, guys. Let's see if this works, because it's about to get real. It's about to get very real. Real fast. Oh, thanks for whatever. I just see the guy moving. I don't know if that was a follow or not. I think I need to have the other thing up to let me know. Oh, no, I might have the app here. Hopefully, it helps me out here. Oh, yeah, he did it. He went for it. Boom. That's tactics for you, bro. 
tactics, tactics. Hey, hold on. Let me make this move. Tactics. Tactics will win every game up until um, you're about, uh, I'll say 2000, honestly. I remember when I was like 1900 and I won. Uh, okay, he's out of here. He resigned, guys. And we got a quick 10 points off that. Awesome. So let me take a look at some stuff real quick, man, and uh, figure out what's, what we got here. What's on my thing? Oh, is that my wife? Wife just came in the door, guys. So just uh, giving you a heads up. Now, um, I need to go to the chat and go here. Yeah. Hey, what's up? What's up? Wife's home, guys. Wife is here, but she understands the hustle. She's going to let me play with my friends. That's you guys. <laughs> she don't let me play with my friends. All right. So um, let me find... <laughs> The stuff going on in here, man. Giveaways, commands, dashboard. I think that's what it is. I hear you guys doing all type of type of stuff in here, man. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. But I can't. I don't know what's going on. Do you consider Bishop H6 after Queen H4? Just to eliminate the bishop and continue. It depends if you cast on Queen side or not. Um, on that, too weak, too slow. It just depends. But sometimes. Yes, you can. Yes. Uh, sometimes when you're in there, guys, uh, when you're playing that, Bishop H6, Queen H4 might not work too much. But uh, especially Knight G5 coming, you want to remember this. Look at it this way. If you attack him with one piece, it's not going to work. But if you have like a uh, attacking with two or three pieces on one side of the board, etc., stuff like that, then it's going to work much more than not in that way. So, all right, cool. Let's see if Atuya wants to play. We're going to play Atuya Shetty, a bet, one of my best friends growing up, actually. He's an international master. I'm probably number, like, uh, I mean, regularly, I'm probably number four in Michigan, five. But on, over the board, 2297, I think I'm at uh, maybe 10 or 11, something like that. He's number one or two, him and Safobora. Shout out to Safobora as well. What's up, bro? I mean, this game after the bishop came to F8. So let's go back. Let's go back. Let's check this out real quick. Um, so two week too slow says, did you cannot consider Bishop H6 after Queen H4? Okay. So let's go here. Let's see where we were at. Push, push, takes, takes, takes. Yes, 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 yes. Here, 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 here. Okay. Queen H4. Work to E6. <coughs> Excuse me. So, when we're here, oh, okay. So I see what you're saying. Too weak, too slow. Bishop h6 right here. So if I play bishop h6 to trade off the bishop, and reason being, guys, he wants to play bishop h6. Very smart. Getting rid of the only defender of the g7 square, which is checkmate. So after bishop h6, then bishop takes on f8. Then I can get the queen in here. Let's say he takes. It's game over. But if he doesn't, so to answer your question, after bishop h6, he might be able to move this rook and get away but still bishop h6 is very strong so i think i missed that due to uh just playing and streaming at the same time so i think that's what i missed but bishop h6 let's just look at it bishop h6 he moves rook c8 right i take here i think it's still yeah this may be better than what i went through so good job two week too slow good job he has to go here and then I can take on h7, threatening checkmate. He may go like queen a4 or something. Wherever he goes, check, king here, check again. I would rather play this position than something else. So two weeks too slow, very good. If you play this, you play bishop h6 next time. Okay, very awesome. Good job. So let's play um, let's play Atulia. Let's challenge him to a five-minute game real quick. Play my buddy, Atulia Shetty. And see, oh shoot, okay, I got it, five minutes, all right, cool. All right, so this is going to be tough, letting you know straight up, this is, wait, let me abort this, this is not a tool yet. Yeah, I know, if I have too many games, whatever, whatever. Let's find him as a friend and challenge him to a five-minute game. Make sure this is right. Yeah, there we go. Cool, five minute game for the stream. Hopefully, Atulia don't beat me up because uh, Atulia is very strong, but I'm also strong as well. Okay, cool. So let's do this. E4. He's a uh, English. No, no, I'm sorry, French. I know he's a French player, so very strong in what he plays and what he does. So he's E6. 
I'm playing knight c3. We're going back into a win R position. Bishop g5. I like these lines. Let's see what he plays. I think he plays bishop e7. Yeah, we've played many, many games. So <laughs> take here, f4. He's going to play a6. That's the right move to make. He's, of course, an international master. That's a good move. Well, we have a StarCraft Gecko. Usually Bishop H6 doesn't quite win because the F8 Bishop retreats. Since White Bishop boxes on Queen in that position, though the Bishop bad. No, yeah, you're right. Very great observation. That is correct. The Bishop really had nowhere to go. So the Bishop have nowhere to go. He's going to, uh, he has to, like, to either flee or take it. That's it. Uh, I did a Queen B4 when I was in, t when I was 10. <laughs> When you was 10. Of course, Spari. Of course. I forgot you was like Grandmaster at like 5. I forgot, bro. I forgot, Spari. Sorry you were GM before all of us. Um, But you're correct. Bishop d3. King b1. So, b4. I got to play this right. Atulia's strong. So, he's going to play a good move. King b1, knight b6, I think. So, I could play bishop d 3 right now. Follow me on Twitter, guys. If you haven't already. If you're just making it to the chat, thank you. Make sure you uh, hit the follow button. And uh, we can go from there, guys. I'm still untitled, though. <laughs> still untitled. Hey, look, man. Sometimes the best players are untitled players, which is very funny. I've got to play Bishop D3, man. So, um, yeah, that's correct. I think I can play Knight A4 if he plays B4. Who is this? Get out of here, Professor Injala. No, you're messing with my rating, man. You're not, like, really good. Knight B4, Knight E2... Let's see what happens. I'm going to go F5 next. Because I kind of have to in a way. Yeah, he's trying to crack me open right now. So I'm going to go F5. And I'm. this is called going forward right now. Going forward. Let's see what we got. He's in deep thought. He's thinking about taking his pawn. I, I guarantee it. <laughs> And that's what he did, guys. And that's what he did. He took the pawn. So I'm doing, looks like we have a pro stalker. No, no laptop. I'm on a desktop. I'm on a desktop. Playing a chess. Stan Buxley in the chat. Pawn takes, bishop takes, queen g5. Or should I just play queen g5? Them takes, rook takes, there, queen takes. This is about get crazy i'm just gonna go with it go with the flow sometimes your intuition will tell you the best nope stan cliff buxley mr planet chess club himself i am on uh uh desktop you are dropping frames what's your bit rate oh man i'm dropping frames huh uh my bit rate i think is 1500 or something 1500 is my bit rate i think let me make sure hold on let me go to settings while I'm playing it to you. After this game. Okay. I'll check it out after this game. That should be good. Alright, cool, bro. We'll, we'll, I'll look at it. I will look at it. We'll talk afterwards. Sweet. As soon as I'm done, bro. After this game. Just want to make sure my stream is tight. And it's ready to go. Got a lot of people looking and watching and having fun with me. Thanks, guys, for being on the stream. The stream would not be great without a viewer like you. So, let's see what we got. Oh, he's still thinking. I love this stuff. Cool. We even on time. Now I'm good. When a guy gets even on time with you, you're feeling good, guys. You're feeling really good. I hope you can hear me still because he playing a chess club says I'm dropping a few frames here. And that's not good. I don't want to keep dropping frames. F6, knight g6, takes, takes, h4. Or F6. I got to play F6. But what's the follow-up? What's the follow-up? That was a strong move, Atulia. Very good job. Or I can take here, though. What if I take on e6? Because the knight's hanging. He can take. I got to play f6. I got to play f6. He got too many things. Audio's good. I mean, after the stream. Stream good. Just something I noticed. Oh. Dang, that's what's up, bro. Okay. Good job. All right. Appreciate you, bro. Appreciate you. Man, Dan Cliff is the man, Cliff. The man, Cliff. That doesn't make sense. Pawn takes. Rook f1. Come on, Atulia. You gotta play this strong stuff, huh? Rook f1 and queen h5 after h6. Ooh, rook f1 looks nice. Rook f1 looks really nice. After h6, maybe queen h5. Still taking a... No, I'm still threatening that. I'm threatening a knight here. Is the main thing. 
I think I'm going to play this. This is very interesting. I have an attack going. When you have an initiative, you want to keep it. When you have an initiative. So he is very strong, and I cannot underestimate him. So I have to make some of the stronger moves, and I have to look for them. I am also down on time now, so i got to move a little faster. He didn't do anything that I thought he was going to do. That's a good thing. So let's see. How can I win? How can I win? Pawn takes, right? Or maybe knight here first. And then queen h... Uh, no, knight here. Knight here first, maybe. Just maybe. Okay. Knight g3. Pawn takes. Then knight there. There we go. See? Yeah, that's called retrograde perspective. Uh, actually, GM... Maurice Ashley, the first black GM. Actually, if you want to check that out, guys. He has, um, what does he have? He has something on TED Talks that talks about retrograde perspective. I think that's what it's called. But it's um, it's act retrograde analysis. That's all right. Retrograde analysis. What it is, is uh, when you find a move order or you find something going on, then you want to reverse it first to see if it works that way. What's the better way? I was trying to set up OBS yesterday. I didn't get it. I'm an analog guy, so I... <laughs> Ah, threw my dinner out the window. Jackie, you didn't have to do that, man. There are kids starving in third world countries, and you threw out your food. So you didn't have to do that. But I do understand your frustration. It took me days to figure out how to work ABS correctly and all that stuff. So it took a while, brother. It took a while. Okay, Atulia may not be making the best moves now. I'm going to position my knight on f6 and keep it there to see if I can play queen h6 and queen h7 checkmate. So hopefully... Hopefully this works. So he's going here. Do I have anything? Do I have anything? I think queen h6. Yep, so I think he's losing, guys. Watch this out. So queen h6, he's going to play rook g7 because he's threatening that. Bishop takes knight. Pawn takes. Oh, I can't play rook h8 because that's not mate. So I can't take on h7, though. Or should I play something else? Man, there's so many moves. H4, maybe? H4. Oh, yeah, I'm running out of time. I gotta move now. Queen H6, then Knight H5. And then take. Oh, Knight H6. Queen H6. Okay, let's just go Queen H6 first. Bishop takes, Pawn takes. Let's go here first. Just knight h5. Just to do it. I don't know if it's even right. Rook f6. That's good. Because now he can't move the knight. So now he can't move the knight. Your name is James? Yes, James Canty III. You can Google it and put chess by it. And you'll see all my accomplishments and things of that sort. Um, just jump in Discord. I'm approaching guru status. <laughs> I know you are, bro. You've been doing this way longer than me, bro. So, definitely got some questions and all that good stuff. Mr. Guru himself. Okay, I'm running out of time. I need to move a little faster here. This takes, pawn takes, rook takes. Or is it rook takes, pawn takes, rook takes, rook takes, rook takes. Yes, he has to do that. I know you do. He can just take the knight. And not looking too good after that. Got in time trouble. Yeah, he can just take the knight. I'm be fine. Rook F7. Yeah, he can just take the knight, guys. He can just take the knight. <sighs> I hate losing games where I was winning. Because I definitely was uh, crushing. Yep, I told you he could take the knight, and guess what he did? That's exactly what he did, because I don't have any time left. So, we're just going to resign this game. Yeah, I don't have enough time. I'm lagging and stuff, too, so we'll put that there. Resign that. Good job. Good job, Atulia. Let's see if he wants to play another rematch. Atulia Shetty. So, now I'm going to play Sharper, but as you can see... The rating does not matter. 
as I was crushing him. I just couldn't finish because of the time. Good job, Atulia. Oh, I love you. Okay. Bishop G2. Bishop G7. I always play the symmetrical against this English. Hey, what's up? Yo, yo, AB in the building. Oh, my goodness. AB is here. Everybody, give a round of applause to AB. He's in the building. What's up, bro? Pushing tight, too, by the way. Pushing tight, brother. 97. He played this a little weird. Because now I can't play d5. So, what happened here? What did I do wrong? a3. I should have played knight e7. But, he always plays the weird b4 line anyway. So, there was kind of no way out of this. I usually like to play d5 in these positions. after <gasps> Knight c2, bishop e6. Or, bishop e6, knight c2, d5. So, I'm kind of a move behind. <laughs> Excuse me. With what I like to play. But, that doesn't mean that this game is far from over. So, I'm just going to play chess. I'm just going to castle. You have to improvise. Oh, yeah. It was a great game. Atulia is very good, man. Atulia is an awesome, strong player. We just played. We actually had a Chicago versus a Detroit match. And he played. I think he played sec first board, maybe? I think he was first board. And then Mark Hyman, who was also a 2400 FIDE master, played board two. And then I played board three. So, I'm um, playing against one of the top guys in Michigan. We grew up together. Scholastic chess. Stuff like that. So, really strong player. Really strong. I wish him the best in his journey to Grandmaster. Because he is definitely there. I'm going to take that and get rid of this knight. I hate the English, guys. I'm like, I'm a tactics guy. I hate playing against, uh, to say the least, this garbage opening. It's not actually garbage, though. It's just annoying to play against. So, I don't play this stuff. Why haven't you played any FIDE since, since 2016? Because, man, you know, I actually, I, I had a life, man. I was, like, doing stuff and working and doing stuff like that. So, now I'm doing chess full-time, man. So, I'm going to be able to play some more, which is a good thing because I'm highly underrated. So, that helps out. That helps out a lot, bar Spari, you know. Uh, helps out. I'll play Rook B8, so I can play B5. No, but yeah, man, I'll be playing real soon. I got some tournaments coming up, so uh, I'll be playing in those. Finally, man, I gotta get rating over 20. I was at 2313. That's the highest I reached on USCF, but uh, over the board, so let's see. Alright, let me think. B5 takes. I lose a pawn. It takes, 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 takes. E4, maybe. He still has a pass pawn out of that. Or I can take here and then take there. This is so annoying playing this stupid English stuff. So annoying, bro. What if I just take it and then play B5? I don't know. What if I play B5 first? Playing one, one turn per year doesn't mean having no life. <laughs> I understand, man. I definitely understand, bro. <sighs> All right, I'll tell you. B5 takes. If he takes, takes. B5 takes. Takes. Takes, 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 takes. He still comes up a pawn at the end of the day. I don't like that. Or I could just play B6 and get it out the way. That's what I'm going to do, guys. I don't know why it took me so long to find B6. <sighs> it's annoying. Of course, knight takes. Of course, guys, if you're watching, I could not take with the queen because I am not about to lose a piece and keep playing. All right, so he's taking over the open file, which is really strong move. I can play e4 and try to break all this up, and then d5 followed by d5. I think that's a... I like this. For some reason, no, e4 followed by d5, pawn takes, knight takes, pawn takes, pawn takes, knight c3. Uh-uh, that's not too good. I might have to play queen d7 first. Maybe that's first. 
Because he can't double yet. He can try to. He might play like queen a4 or something. Let's see what happens. I still always have this discovery. Yeah, I figure queen e4 is a strong move. I can play b5 though. Takes, takes, queen takes, rook takes, pawn takes. That simplifies a lot of stuff. Pawn takes, rook a7. And then what happens? Where can I move? Maybe knight c8, threaten him. Let's try it. Because it gets rid of all this stuff and all this pressure. You really need your knight to d4. Yeah, the knight is good on d4. It's just the fact that he can always kick it, so it's not a permanent outpost. He can play e3. So when e3 comes, it gets really annoying to play against e3 and stuff like that. If I go queen here, let's just go here because I don't have time to think about it. But, uh, yeah, putting when he can push the pawn on e3, you're not looking at a, um, a, a permanent pow outpost at that point. Like, I can't even go back to d4. So when they're allowed to play e3, I usually don't play knight d4. Eventually, he's going to kick and gain the tempo, and you, you just have to move. What I really needed was to play d5. So if you're playing the English or playing against it, d5 is a very crucial pawn break, and he exploited that because I played a5 early, and I should have played uh, bishop e6, which he would have followed up with a gambit line that he plays um, with b4 immediately. Which is strong too, if you don't know what you're doing. You know, he's very good at this English. Very, very good. He's been playing it for many years. So he takes this way. Okay. Well, I'm gonna take the other way. I like to keep it interesting. Let's see what happens. Maybe rook a6. Oh. Uh -huh, clever guy of course he's an international master I got a lot of moves here man wow um, let me play e4 first because there's a lot of moves and I only got 46 seconds I can take on c6 that was a good move good job on me nice that was a really good move because I can take the rook I was also threatening the c6 pawn as well should I play knight c6 now and then knight d4? Yeah, there we go. Look at you. Look at you, Spari. Knight goes to d4 now. Man, Spari is on it today. Like, Spari is, uh, is like, living life. When I play the English, I try to exchange the white bishops because the bishop... Yeah, you know what? And I might look into some of that one day. Just not now, of course. But I am going to look into some of those lines. Because that bishop, yes, this white bishop is a problem, as you can see, guys. It is annoying to play against this bishop. So I'm threatening his rook. Let's see what happens. It's probably going to stay on this file nine times out of ten. I just got to figure out what to do. What's my next move? He didn't. Okay, so maybe I can get away with some stuff. Bishop here. F4, F5. Maybe I can play that. I don't know what his next move is going to be. F4, F5. He doesn't really have any threats. Pieces aren't coordinated like we talked about before. But, uh, oh, okay, good move, good move. He's threatening a piece. I mean, a pawn. You always want to threaten something if you can. And I'm out of time, guys. I am 19 seconds in. Brainlessly putting your pieces on optimal scores is sometimes enough to beat any, anyone. That's correct. Yes. If you haven't already, uh, Nightbot's going to post it about the uh, the Discord. I mean, and the uh, chess dot, um, the chess club. Sorry. I'm trying to play and talk, but... The chess club, he's going to post. Oh, I could have took on c7. Yeah, it's over. But chess, the there's a chess club on there, guys, that you can um, go to. That's called the GM Factor. That is definitely me. I'm going to just put good games, bro. Good games, bro. Because that's a wrap. I'm going to resign this one, too. And I'm out. Good games, bro. I'm going to play some other players. My man's Atulia on the chat. Thanks, Atulia. I just want to play someone I don't know yet. Oh, there you go. In the chat. In the chat. A, A Shetty, bro. 
super strong, like a beast. Make sure you watch his games, follow him, look at his stuff. The man is strong, okay? Do not underestimate him on any circumstance. F5. F5 is always a move that should be played. I want to challenge you, but my hand is holding a can of beer and not willing to let it go. Hey, man. Um, that is okay, bro. Like, I literally take a few shots. My wife's laughing at you, so. Um, I take shots myself and play some chess. Now, not in tournament play. But when you're hanging out, man, hey, look, have a good time. Enjoy yourself. That's what it come down to. So we can definitely play some games and drink more, definitely, because that would help me out. Bishop D, C, C, D6, Knight takes D5, B6 maybe, Rook B8. Reason for Rook B8 is I want to get this white square bishop out. You know, it's all about the pieces first, right? So get the bishops out, get the pieces out, but the only way to do that is to move my Rook to B8 so I can push this B pawn and then develop to Bishop D7. So we're going to take this because this looks very awkward. Hey, that's a great idea. Thanks, Bari. Yep, yep, yep. Thank you so much. B5. Okay, so he's played to C3. Knight takes... I think I'm going to keep this tension in the center. I'm just not going to take yet. And I'm going to just get my pieces in optimal squares. Rookie A, Bishop B7, move a queen somewhere. And see what happens. See what happens. He can also take here and threaten this c5 pawn. So I'm going to probably have to take with the bishop. Let's go bishop b7. Queen c7 first, though. I think that's a better move. Because I really want to take back with the pawn if he takes. He has a double pawn, which is not always a bad thing. Double pawns aren't always bad. He does have a pass pawn here. It is a little weaker, but... That's it. When you stream with G moves and your other friends, it was sadly impossible to follow. Oh, really? Wow. You mean um when we played uh when I played Josh, Josh, Pashtuma? I think that's his name. Josh Pashtuma. Are you talking about when I played Josh like a couple months ago? Maybe something like that. Is that what you mean, Spari? Is that what you're talking about? Pontex Pontex E4 B3. Before I'm on that file, but I'm not doing enough. I do have time. Pontes, Pontes, Queen B6, no, Queen E5. Yeah, Josh. Yeah, Josh is strong too, man. I got a 6 0 lead, and then I got fatigued. He is like probably five years or six years younger than me, so he got more stamina, to be honest, when it came to sitting there for so long. But Josh, Josh is pushing I am strength. Very strong guy. Very strong guy. I had a 6 0 lead, and then we ended up finishing like a 30 game match I think he was like 30 to 23 or 24 so if you haven't already guys uh, first off welcome to the stream and secondly if you haven't already subscribe and uh, push the uh, follow button up there yeah he's about 18 he's I think he's still in high school actually I remember being a tournament director at a tournament he played at and I had a chess match against, against him he's a very strong player young kid and uh, I could get in trouble with this. Bishop f4. He didn't care. Which is fine. I don't care either. So we still went into this line somehow. How do I get rid of this stuff? b4 maybe. And then bishop b5. No. b4, bishop f4. Uh, this is annoying. Queen e7 maybe. Queen f7. Queen D7, no, Queen B6. B4, Bishop B5, takes, takes. Queen takes, pawn takes, takes. No, 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 no. I'm just going to take this and make a force move. And we're just going to see what happens. If it's a draw, it's a draw. I was, a, well, I was pretty impressed in American 18 of it. Oh, yeah, he's strong. He's definitely strong. He's pushing tight, man. And, you know, uh, that's when I got strong, too, when I started getting strong. And I actually got my strongest when I was out of high school, and I was able to do stuff on my own. But that's it. Who's a lawyer in a picture below? Where? What picture? What you talking about, A.B.? Over, overestimate titles, because titles may only be a big one. 
in certain countries. That's right. That is right. I got some friends in Canada that are stupid strong. And they don't have a title. And it's like, how are you this good? And you don't have a title. That's correct, guys. I've actually played more than 100,000 games of bullet chess. I've been the uh, highest 2,600 online bullet. Highest ever. Atuyo, on the other hand, has been 2,700. I need to be Korean. <laughs> Man, just hey, look, just play good chess. That's what it comes down to. You don't need a title to be classified as a very good chess player. My dad is about an expert. About an expert. Strong expert. And um, he doesn't have uh, a title or anything. So I'm really just having some fun here. So now I really gotta start playing some chess for real. Cause people are trying to beat me, bro. And I ain't trying to lose. Let's see what happens. I'm in the zone now. I'm trying to zone in real quick. All right, guys, had to win that one real quick. Looking good. B3 would be hard to defend. That's correct. To be kind of that's how pieces from from one pawn. <laughs> that's right, man. How pieces swing from one place to another. That was freaking crazy, bro. I had to step it up real quick. It's funny how you turn stuff on real quick. Sometimes you got to turn on that beast and then get to work. And that's what happened. So last 24 seconds, I had to turn that on real quick because I wasn't trying to lose that. 
So let's back up and see what happened here. So I really got a, I really got well played activity one the game. Absolutely. Yep, active pieces is the name of the game. You know, you can be down three pawns. Sometimes I sack a few pawns in a scotch gambit, and I still win because of my activity of the pieces uh, from there. So let's look at where he kind of went wrong here. Um, so this is uh, pretty good stuff. I thought he was going to bin take the bishop, but he didn't. So after uh, bishop take and a rook double up, okay, queen b8. Well, a reason he could have took on c5 immediately, um, and I would have just probably played queen g3 just to uh, put some pressure on the board, really, from there. He takes, I take with the pawn, check, rook, king h8. Then he takes, but then I have two passed pawns, and now it's looking pretty rough here. Queen e5, I play e3 to threaten a rook. He cannot take my pawn on f4 because of my queen on b8. So that's not going to happen. Uh, queen rook g2. So I think he has something nifty here. If I play a move like, you know, queen over one to queen c8, that's like losing completely. Just because he has rook g8 check, rook takes, queen f6 check, and that's mate, basically, in a way, and I'm getting mated. So very good move on his part, um, but instead of queen c8, and I think I just ruined the game, by the way. But he let me get these two pawns over here, and these two pawns is what caused him to lose the game. So even in my system, in my system, if you have the book, it talks about two pawns on the sixth rank. One pawn is worth now, uh, I think, a knight, and then two pawns is like worth a rook on the, the third rank or the sixth rank. So very good. Very good stuff there. I uh, was able to win. Very strong player. Good stuff. So we're going to play a few more. And see what's up. Game. 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 Uh, let's get out of here. See what we got up in here. Play five minutes. Play another one real quick. Uh, same guy. I don't want to play him again. But that's okay. We'll play him. I want to kind of get some higher competition. I like to play my best games then. C3. Always that C3 Sicilian if you know it. Like I said before, if you wasn't here. When that's got, hey, look, AB, that's got's gambit is something serious. Nakamura used to play it back in the day. Now I play it exclusively. I don't play anything else. I think I lost one game or maybe two. And the same thing in uh, about a few years, like maybe four or five years that I've played this that um, I've been winning. So this is one of the lines out of the C3 Sicilian. If you play the C3 Sicilian, um, where I, I take, I mean, like you can tell, I'm just, I'm on an initiative right now. I'm um, doing fairly well. So I'm going to play queen b3. I just think that's a good move. I'm a castle queen side. I'm threatening the b pawn. That's all that's about right now. But a, b, that's guys game is something serious, bro. It really is. I have some wins in tournament chess, even against a, like a qualified bona fide masters that have lost to me from the C3 Sicilian. So that, and, I mean, oh, the Scotch Gambit, I'm sorry. Scotch Gambit is uh, stupid strong. People just don't give it a lot of credit. That's what it is. They don't give it a lot of credit because you're like, oh, it's not the Roy Lopez. Well, that's why I like to play it because it's not the Roy Lopez. Everyone and everybody and their mother plays the Roy Lopez. D6, let's go D6. See what happens, keep it interesting. I knew you were going to do that. Now, how do I capitalize on this? 94, pawn takes, bishop g5, maybe h4, bishop takes, queen e4. I got a lot of moves here, guys. A lot of moves. That's the bad thing about chess sometimes. There's so many moves. Bishop d4, bishop g7, takes, takes, bishop d4, bishop g7, queen e4, castle. Then, uh, takes. Nope, there's nothing to pin, so why am I pinning? Huh? Very good, very good. All right, let's just attack then. Let's just attack, because I don't have really much else to do at this point. I'm going to go king b1. You want to stay consistent, though. So when you play h4, bishop g5, rook e1, yeah. I'm looking at all that, AB. By the way, can't he ask you to share his name with me? I want to research him. Uh, His name's Jack Wood, bro. Um, oops, I hopefully I was supposed to say that. But Jack Wood is a homie from a long time. That's his name. His name is Jack Wood. Sorry. Sorry. He has uh, been around a long time. 
94, 92, h4, takes, takes, maybe bishop d3 first. Let's get that bishop out the way. And he can play knight c5, so maybe that wasn't the strongest move. Oh, and he's not going to play it, and I'm going to continue with what I was going to do. Because I'm planning on sacking. Like, sacrificing something. No, you were not supposed to say that. <laughs> yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, hopefully he not watching. Sorry, Jay Wood, if you are Mr. G Moves himself. Big fella. Wood, not woods. I had to play Rook D1 because he's trying to play really good chess and being difficult. He do got a lot of time, but I message because he's not supposed to. Yeah, I know, bro. My bad. Does he have a check or something? Like, what are you doing? You're just going to let me come in your crib like that. All right, cool. I will come in your front door if that's what you uh, want me to do. I can come straight up in your front door. Hey, hi. How are you doing? Hello. What's for dinner? Bishop C2. Bishop D3, maybe. Let's just go back. Let's just back it up real quick. I clipped already. <laughs> Ah, A.B. A.B. A.B., bro. What up, A.B.? I think I can get away with knight a4 and then bishop takes h7. So that was my goal. Because now that he took on f3, I have this discovery on h7 with check. And I'm also threatening the rook. So let's see what happens. Get him out of here, coach. Bring me another one. Thank you. Bishop takes h7 is the move now. I'm going to take this rook. He also has an open G file, and I have an H pawn. Yeah, you have to do that, don't you, big guy? And I'm going to move my king. Oh, you didn't want to trade? Man, okay, I understand. You got some good peace activity, to say the least. Peace activity. But Rook G1 is coming, I will tell you that. Hey, what's up, Jala? Yeah, man, I'm streaming now, bro. This is like my first real stream. I was practicing and do. I've been doing so much, man, in the past week or so. So, what's up, bro? What's going on, big dog? I can only play like five minute games because my uh, my stuff's weak. My like internet's a little, a little little garbage, to be honest, to say the least. So, I can only play like five minute games and then uh, get my rating stupid high offline and then come back and play and stream for you guys and give you some lessons and stuff. Because that's just what I do, man. I'm a professional player and coach. Love the game. Love to give back. So that's what I'm here for, guys. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm streaming now, bro. Oh, thanks for the follow or subscription or whatever that was, man. Thank you so much. You are awesome. This stream is not awesome without a person like you guys. Um, now, let's see what we got here. 92, Rook H1, Knight B5. Queen C2. Let's go Queen C2. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Did you play the same tournament in 2016? Nah, bro. I mean, it depends. Not not really. Uh, Spari. I think I played a um, 2016. I think if that was the millionaire chest, then yes. I played like two years in a row. So I think it was 15 and 16 or 14 and 15. So it was one or the other. One or the other, brother. Professor Injala. Yep. I remember, man. I seen you online, big dog. I seen you on there, man. My Instagram is going ham, guys. So if you got Instagram, you can follow me there, too. But it's different on there. It's multi-millionaire multi canty. That's the name on there. I played you a while ago, and I won on time. Really? Ha! <laughs> That's funny. Uh, unless you're talking about, uh, like, win. Like, on chess.com or like in real life IRL which one big dog when did you play me where were we at let me get some details man where were we at 
Oh, hey, wife comes in with the charger, guys. That's what she got a wife for. Thanks a lot, sweetheart. Queen G2. All right. I'm trying to mate this guy. Queen B7, Queen H3, maybe. How can I mate him? Let's put the queen here first, because that's an annoying move. Oh, okay. I see what you're trying to do. But if you do go there, I'm pulling here, big fella. Oh, you can't move the knight. What am I talking about? That's why I moved the queen here. So I need to get rid of this knight. That's called getting rid of the defender. If you didn't know, guys, getting rid, getting rid of the defender. Chess.com. Oh, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. We played on chess.com. Yes, sir. It happened, and I lost some time. Good job, man. Good job. I definitely lost some time. I just wasn't moving fast enough. And stuff like that so <clears throat> yeah and I mean hey man I got my stream going I'm trying to get as much as I can and uh, be here for my fans and my viewers and my, oh whoa hold up hold up I just got the alert that I'm, I'm like down on time so give me a second I think I'm gonna lose this on time and that's just being honest and I played a very bad move just now yeah, we're going to resign this one. So that one was no good. Not a good game by me, guys. Let's find a better one. Okay, Instagram. Okay, I understand. Jeez. 2137. All right, let's see what we got here. We're either going to play a black lion. How am I feeling? Do I want to feel lionish? I do. D6. Black Lion, what you know about it. Okay. Knight D7. C6. So if you haven't, if you never looked this up, it's called the Black Lion. It's a very easy opening, especially in bullet chess. I play this pretty often because it's easy to play. Let's play Bishop E7. Knight F. Uh, no, it's supposed to be H6 first, actually. H6, let's go, and then G5. That is the best when they play H3 in the Black Lion. Oh, yeah. We about to have some fun. I got to move a little faster, though, because I'm seeing some games. Hey, shout out to whatever that was on my stream just now. I don't even know what it was. I'm still learning this, so don't know what that was, but congratulations, and thank you so much. Sorry. Hey, what up, Sparry? Be prepared to drunken Dutch. I'm with that. I like a drunken Dutch, okay? We're going to play a game. Give me a sec, Spari. I'm playing right now. And then I got you right after this game. It is me and you, Spari. Me and you. Okay. Um, it's going to be knight g4 takes. Pawn takes? I think that's the move. And that's not the move. What am I doing? Oh, my goodness. What did I do? Uh, oh, that was trash, bro. He is trash. Somebody put, uh, is there a trash emote? Does anyone have a trash emote? Because that would be great. Trash emote would be great right now. Oh, thanks for the follow, whoever that was. I don't know. I can't see on here. Let me try to put this up a little more so I can see the follow names or something. Thanks for the follow, though. You are awesome, whoever you are, big dog. For real. The stream ain't great without you. Straight up. So, um, let me find what to do now. Bishop d7. Bishop e6, knight g4, knight h4, pawn takes. I'm just going to develop. How can I get my knight? Nope, I can't. Bishop d7. I want to destroy him. But it's hard. Alright, think about this. Okay, bishop d7. Just gonna develop real quick. Bishop d7. Let's see what we can do. I want a castle, but the rook is going to take on f7. 
which is not what I wanted in this opening. I just might have to go here. Rook F8, F6. Rook H7, maybe. Found a move. Oh my goodness. Oh, I found a move. Yikes. Because this was rough. I was trying to figure out what to do. So I think I can castle queen side now. Bishop takes, queen takes, castle queen side. This is not easy on both sides. Yeah, I don't know what you even doing here. But I'm going to castle, big dog. Just, just show me what you're going to do. Oh, you trying to trade. Oh, okay. Okay, so let me try to trap your piece, Dan. If you're going to trade, Dan, like a little coward. You want to trade. He wants to trade, guys. B6. Let's do this first, though. Let's hit that C5 real quick. And then King B6. I'm scared to play this for some reason. Oh, that's a May threat. King B6. Yeah, heck, you know, I'm out of here. You ain't about to get me. I ain't the one. You got the wrong one, big dog. A6. Nice C3. Bishop D8. B5 now. Finally, I can push to B5. And I've been wanting to do that. In his own, in his own. Cool, got that one off, guys. We needed that one. Good freaking job. Check out the chat real quick. Appreciate all the follows today, guys. You guys are awesome. Thanks for the follows. Thanks for the views. Everyone here is pretty freaking awesome, to say the least. Pretty freaking awesome. Okay. Alrighty. So, let's play some more five-minute games. Let's see what we can do in this ring and then uh, take a quick intermission e4 alakine so I guess this alakine stuff I'm not a fan of the alakine at all I'm not a fan guys I always play the c4 lines because sometimes it can transpose back into a um, c c3 Sicilia
So I'm playing bishop d3, so I can attack on the king side. Usually when they play b6, they're going to play a bishop a6. To follow it later, I have to move my rook out the way so I can try not to trade bishops. Oh, yeah, that works too. Knight b4 was not an accurate move on his part. <clears throat> I'm just going to play rookie one, knight c3, and keep my, my strong bishop, which is the white square bishop. Who's ready? Let's go, rookie one. <clears throat> I hate playing against the Alakine, but got my own system that I found because I hate playing mainline stuff. The bad thing about playing mainline stuff is like the fact that everyone knows it. And when everyone knows something, it's harder uh, to get the same stuff all the time. You know what I mean? So, not something you want to do. Not recommended. So that was interesting. I've never seen no one take this freaking pawn here. So I think he's in trouble though. Knight g5. We're gonna go here. And I think I might sack this piece, to be honest. If you haven't already, join the Discord, hit the follow button, and support the stream. Thanks for everyone that's viewing out here today. You could be doing anything else. Thank you for coming to visit. Queen h5 takes, bishop takes, or takes, and then queen h5, king f8, queen f3, no, king f8, bishop takes f5 for, I mean, h7. I'm going to do something really interesting here. No, he can play king g8, though. I like knight g5 here to see if he plays a, h6. Yeah, I know, right? I know, a, b, yeah, you're right. I can also take on h7. I got some interesting stuff here. Maybe queen h5. If I take on f7, then check. He plays king g8, right? Then what? I want to mate him right now. And he stole a pawn from me, so I have to get this back somehow. So if I check, check there. He can play king g8, which is an annoyance and a nuisance. So maybe I can play knight takes h7. He plays g6, and then I would have to go back to f6. Is that the goal? I'm not trying to go to f6, though h4 queen g4 i don't know i got a lot of moves though i don't know yet his knight's weird over here on a2 too i can't do anything to exploit that yet knight takes queen check no queen f3 no uh knight h3 queen h5 are you a crazy chess book collector too i used to be i'm um, only got my main ones that i use now two of them that i use all the time exclusively through the rest of my chess career i'll still be using these and then to go deeper into uh, theory, I use the uh, computer, Stockfish, uh, chess base, everything like that. And uh, I got a few sites as well. But yes, to answer that question, Spari, I am a crazy book collector, just not anymore. So I used to like get all the books. And I would be a kid at a candy store when I go to a chess store tournament and I see the chess store and see all the books. I would just go read them all and look at them real quick. Queen h5 takes, bishop takes, and then what, guys? And then freaking what? Maybe take on h7. I really don't know. I really don't know. Maybe knight h3. Knight f3 takes h7. I gotta do something. So we're just gonna go here. And just be a nuisance. Feel free to donate a chess book to me. You can choose me. You can choose me first chess book. Haha. <laughs> yeah, brother, I can, man. But what you can do, though. Is uh there's some PDFs, there's a lot of things you can do, buddy. Is uh is now I think I got another follower, I think that was a follower. Thanks. Whatever that was, I just gotta fix that part of the stream. Cause I don't know that part yet, guys. But I appreciate whatever that was. Thank you so much. Bishop H four, Queen G four, Bishop takes H seven. I got a lot of moves here, guys. I just don't have a lot of time. That's the thing. I need to get this knight in the game. Where is this queen going next? What if he plays h6? Can I really take on h7? Is that a move? I just don't know the follow-up. That's the bad part. That is the bad part. What's up, V-Sim? Oh, that was you, buddy. Okay. What's up, man? Welcome to the chat, buddy. This challenge but part you ignore. You right, man. I'm sorry, actually. I forgot, big dog. I forgot, brother. All right, let's go. Um, let's go 92. I got to get this last piece off the back ring. Maybe I can do something with this pin on uh, A2 with the knight if he don't move it. Okay, he had to move it. He was smart about it. So, I don't know what to do now. 
Everything's like defended, which is annoying. So let's go like a bishop h4. Bishop h4. Reason being, because I got a queen g4 coming, takes on g7. Knight f3s. I got a lot of stuff here, guys. I got a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. Man, what was that? Did somebody follow me? Uh, I don't know if these are follows or what. Oh, I think that is a follow. I think you guys are following me. Thanks to the new notifications, guys. You guys are super awesome. There is no one on the stream like you guys. And I think I'm winning completely now. I think he made a terrible move. I think he made a terrible move. New follower. Joe Panther 001. What up, Joe Panther? We are in here, bro. We are here today getting this money, bro. What's up with you, big dog? How's it feeling? How's life? Thanks for coming to the stream, man. Welcome. Queen G5. So I'm looking at a lot of moves here. Reason why he's taking his time. And I, sorry, guys. I took so much time on this. I'm never down as much time. So I'm probably going to play some slower games. Maybe like some 10-minute games. Just to give some instructional stuff and play some instructional chess, you know. It helps me out too. But Queen G5 is really good. So I now have uh, Queen takes G7. I think this is completely losing all the way. Life be swell, just another day learning. I think back found, black found first. <laughs> yep, you're right, man. I think black found the worst move in the position. You're right, Spari. Out of all the moves he could make, right? He made the absolute worst move in the position. Like, how do you do that? You can challenge me to time control. You prefer. Man, we'll just play some five minute. I'm just going to move a little faster. I was talking a little bit, a little bit too much. So, I think this is out. Night check, queen takes. Oh, he threatened my rook. Whoa, let me move out the way, bro. Okay, I see you. Putting a threat on the board. Like a big man. Like a grown man. Very nice. Putting a threat on the board. He might have to play something to put his queen on his file. Yeah, that was the only move, I think. And I am running out of time, so I don't have time to do anything else. But I think I'm still winning, though. How does he defend D8? He can't. Oh, my goodness. I'm still winning. Wow, with 14 seconds on the clock. Bro, I'm not trying to play no 120 minute with 5 minute increment. Come on, Spari. You funny, man. 120. What do you mean? You know how long that's going to be? Bro, let's play a game right now. Where you at, Spari? Where you at, bro? Where you at, dog? Uh... Oh, that was Joe Panther. Sorry, my bad, Spari. My bad, fam. Now, Joe Panther, no. I am not going to play a game that long online okay i will fall asleep on the stream so um where we at spari hey challenge me real quick about four hours right four hours bro what's wrong with you man what is wrong with you what's your rating on uh, on chess.com panther joe p joe panther what's the rating bro hey spari i'm ready i'm ready for you man it's okay you can blame me for anything he says <laughs> all right all right spari that's your homie man Get your, get your mans. Get your mans, Spari. We ain't playing no 120. <laughs> yeah, I know. She don't. She don't. He was like, I don't think your wife cares. AB was like, well, hey, man, let's play a two-hour game. I don't think your wife cares. She don't. She don't. You know, she understand what I'm doing. She actually eating some good food right now, too. By the way. I know. Yes, wife is a good cook. If you don't have one, need to get you one. So... Uh, let's go, man. Come on, Spari. I'm waiting on you, bro. Really? You challenging me? I don't see the challenge. Hold up. Oh, here we go. I'm tripping. Sorry, bro. Let's go. All right, me and Spar, Spar. Spari or Sperry. I'm sorry. I don't know how it's spelled or said. But let's go, dog. I'm ready. Hey, there you go, playing that C4 stuff. That's just some humor, can't he? Just humor. Okay, you're a funny guy. I like it. I like it, Joe Panther. I like it, JP. Yeah, 
good Braden inspiration. Braden, <laughs> that's my guy too. I know. Him. Yeah. <laughs> Braden, what's up, Braden? I do want a half a sandwich. Why you got some food? Who wants some food on the stream? Y'all want some food on the stream? The wife got me half a sandwich. I gotta um, just put it right there. Thank you, sweetheart. I gotta play and um, play my man Sparta real quick. Alrighty, yeah, yep. This is the absolute boringest line that White plays. Um, how do we play the rest of this though? I have to think. Very interesting. I forgot how this is played. Yay, food for everyone. What a wife. Ha <laughs> ha. What a wife. What a wife. You're right, dog. A B. A Bizzle is here, dog. A Bizzle in the room. Thank you, sir. If you haven't already, guys, first off, thank you for following the stream. And also, uh, make sure that you are watching the stream. Make sure that you hit that follow button. And also, um, subscribe when it gets up there. And then uh, follow me on Twitter, man. If you got Twitter, I'm always on Twitter. I would like to follow you guys back just to have a uh, active chat and things like that. And just uh, connect, man. Twitter's awesome. I've been uh, just getting on Twitter. So if you got Twitter, follow me at GM Canty. It's already in the chat. Let me see what we got. Bishop takes pawn takes. Queen B6. Bishop takes pawn takes. Queen B6 takes repair. Let's see what you got, bro. This is interesting. I like this for some reason. I think this is uh uh shout out to Joe Nick Loss. Joe Nick Loss, if you watch in the chat, I just got that follow on Twitter. What's up, bro? Thanks for following. The Twitter machine is awesome. Oh hey, Joe P JP. JP just gave me the follow real quick. J Pizzle. Thank you, Joe Panther. Thank you. I'll follow you back, man. I will. Every time I see that Queen A5, I remember. <laughs> AB, yeah, bro. That's right. That's how it is. Yeah, he played the same stuff in a way, man. He do. So let me try to tie down this B2 pawn and also this A4 pawn. So he's kind of tied down. Because if he uh, moves the bishop, I'm going to take here. Um, and then if he moves the rook, I can take on A4. And I can also put my knight on C5. So that's why he played rook A3 now. Knight C5 may be followed up with B3. Maybe. If he knows what he's doing. Knight c5 and then bam bam. How about. This is very interesting. What if he plays there. Then I play there. I may be able to win a pawn. Not that way though. Rook c8 maybe. Well that pawn's still tied down. I will say that. So maybe let's put my other rook on an open file. Spari is a tricky guy. I can see that. He pushing tight. Spari trying to play right now. Spari came to play. Okay. Now, don't get it wrong. Don't get it twisted. Spari came to get this money. You can tell. So, knight c5, b3. Jackie, so we tricks are for kids. Mm -hmm. I used to eat tricks too. Tricks are for kids. Yes, I used to eat them. When I was a kid, absolutely. Yeah, <laughs> tricks was pretty good. Tricks was pretty good. Thanks for that observation, Joe P. Joe Panther. Knight c5, knight a6, b5, knight e5, bishop b2. What can I do? I want to put my knight here on c5. I think I have to in a way because I don't really have much else to do. I mean, depending on where he moves his bishop, I got bishop b2 coming. Knight takes on b3. So I got some threats here. I even can go to knight e4 and then knight to c3. Not really a lot here yet. Or maybe I can. I want to break this up. So how to do it? I can play knight e4, knight c3, and then play b5 depending on what he does. Okay, so the knight looks really good on e4 now. It looks really good. I can check, maybe come around. I also got G3. I got some threats here, guys. Let's see what happens. What do you play? Oh, he played there. So maybe let's follow with my first mind. Knight C3. I can take that, though. Come back. Knight B1. Why would I even do that, though? E6, maybe? No, we don't want to give us his bishop a good move. Bishop, Bishop. Let's go here first. I just got kind of have to. I want to stay good on time too as well. Maybe push F5 next. Uh, Maybe. Maybe. I'm not sure yet. Okay, E5. 
Maybe e5 is a good move. Take. So now I got some center pawns going. Do you know irony? <laughs> Image that, right? <laughs> Imagine that. Image that. Imagine. I know what you meant. Imagine. Hey, good game, Sparry. You pushing tight, brother. You're pushing pretty good. I like what you're doing. I like how you're playing. I see that you came to play. I see that you came to play. King F7. I had this in mind already. So who else wants to play in the chat, though? I got some challenges lined up. Playing Spari. He set it off. Let's see what he can do. Now, guys, you want a challenge? Send me a challenge. I am waiting mm -hmm. on you. B5, C6, maybe. I think Rishi 6 looks good. Takes B5. Bishop takes knight, takes, takes, king, takes, 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 rook there. Ah, oh, I'm trying to be clever, but can I get away with this move, though? Let's see what happens, Spari. Oh, man, Spari. Dang, Spari, you didn't hung a piece, bro. Dang. You was doing good, too, bro. I mean, he is 1979, so... He can beat more than the average and above average player. He's pushing about to 2050. Mm -hmm. I'll give him that. Way, well over expert. Mm -hmm. Good job. Kind of like my dad, actually. My dad is well over an expert. Good job, Spari. Good game, bro. Good game on the blunder. <laughs> the blunder is real. Yeah, bro. He was pushing tight, Spari. But then you played that garbage, man. But I don't want to make you lose rating. Bro, man, you better... Challenge me right now, AB. I can't believe you said that in my chat. I can't believe you said that. You better send me a challenge right now before I find you. I know where you live. Let's go, AB. Let's go, bro. I'm ready. Hello, AB. AB, where is the challenge, AB? Unbelievable. I'm gonna say that on my chat. What's wrong with him? You better get him. Somebody get him. Somebody get your man. I know. I know. It's all fun, AB. It's all fun. A bizzle in the building. AB, by the way, has beaten me, I think, one time. I think I've lost to him once. Which lets you know, AB is strong. AB is strong. I can't slip. It just got real up in here. Ha <laughs> ha! JP! It just got real up in here. Yes, sir, it did. Yes, sir. AB, come on, let's go. Oh, shoot. Jackie calling you out, too, bro. Let's go. I gotta put the work on you real quick. AB, where you at, man? Are you online right now? Are you online right now, AB? I got a lot of friends online right now. If you haven't already and you are a uh, chess.com member, definitely add me at GM Canty. I'll add you back. We can play some games on the stream. Oh, there we go. AB about to get his head cracked. I mean, he's about to play me. So, let's go. Alright, guys. Very instructional English opening. The opening I hate to play against. This is the only opening I really hate. Like, I just hate. It's just so slow and boring. It's so boring, guys. But, AB plays it, and I'm going to win. <clears throat> so, if I take with the knight, I feel like I can win a pawn here. So, if I take with the knight, knight takes, pawn takes, he plays knight b5. I can play knight c6, he can check me, I can play king f8. Bishop takes, pawn takes. I do get both bishops in that situation. So, we're going to take this and see what happens. See what he does. Knight c6. <clears throat> is he going to give me the two bishops? He is. He gave me the two bishops, guys. So if I castle, I think that knight might be trapped. So let's get out of here first. Bishop b7 is coming. So you never, guys, you never want to give up the white bishop when you fin shadow. And that's what he did. And I think AB is completely losing now. But we're going to see. You never know. You never know. So queen b6 actually runs into knight e7. So how about queen c7? Then he plays the arc and take on c2. 
Or bishop b7. No, that's going to hang my queen. Let's not hang a queen, guys. Queen c7. Let's try to see what he plays. So I can at least take the c2 pawn and then have this uh, super uh, stuff. Feels so bad. I'm sure I had a clear advantage. Not clear, Spari. Let's get that right. It was very good. It was slightly better, but not clear just because of the uh, tactics in the position. And pawn takes and trades. So, but honestly, if I, you know, to say the least, I would prefer to be white in that position because it's easier to play. Easier to play, I would say that. Very much easier to play. So, good job, Spurrier. You played a very strong game. Like I said, you are probably around 2050, close to 2100. Good stuff. Good stuff. You just blundered, really. That was it. And that's how, really, all chess goes, guys. One blunder could cost you the game. What are you doing, AB? Are you trying to lose? Have you lost your freaking mind? You are about to lose. Okay, let's go queen d5 first. Just because it looked like you about to get hurt. Somehow, some way. I don't know yet, but it looked close. So he closed the file off. I can take, but I can't take on that three. So let's threaten the bishop. He always threaten the loose piece. Good game there. Hey, good game, Sparry. Good game. All the time. Every time I'm streaming, man, let's play. Every time I'm streaming, let's play some games. Get this right. Play some strong stuff. I'm also slightly better always than after two moves. That feeling goes down to 20. Yeah, absolutely. You can play great. You can play like a GM till move 10, and then you hang, hang your queen, and then it's like, what happened? That does happen. So Bishop takes. I knew he was going to play this, right? So I saw this line. I just don't know what to do after now. How do I quarter my pieces in the right way? Rookie two, queen takes f3, bishop takes, bishop takes, and then what? And then what? And then what? And then what? Well, that's a lot of stuff that's not. I can play queen h5. He's going to have to be forced to play g4. So I'm going to just go with that. Queen h5 is threatening to take the knight and then take on f3 with the bishop. So I can win a piece, I mean a pawn, and then try to uh, swindle him from there. So let's see what happens. He's going to take that way. Actually, no. He can't. I can't, I mean. I can't, not him. All right, let's just go to the file. Rook C8, see what you got in here, bro. I feel like a GM until I hang my king. <laughs> Absolutely, man. We all feel like a GM until you make a non-GM move, and then it's like, what were you doing? What happened? All right, Bishop takes. Takes. He's going to take back. I can take with the Rook and there, and then Bishop takes. It's still not a lot here yet. That's the thing about it. I don't like when there's not a lot to do. How about rook c5? Takes pawn takes. Where does the knight go? I don't know. I don't care. Bishop takes f3. Rook c5. He can also move the rook. Joe. <laughs> yeah. Well, I like our game. Give an impression of Candy Skill. <laughs> not a good impression, man. I'm not playing concentrate i'm still i'm almost down a minute against ab so i am not uh all the way focused as i should be and i apologize for that for not giving you a thousand percent on that game but i still won I still won and you also played very good and i could have lost that game so good job spari good freaking job you do have my respect Whoa, AB, are you tripping? Can I play this or no? What you gonna do? I'm just gonna do it. Oh, he can play uh, rookie one. Cute. Cute, you little cutie. Look at that. Trying to play some good moves. Spar, spar. Let's go here first. I don't know what you got going on, dog. But we gonna try this out on you real quick. Try this tactics on you. I had to trade everything off. If you play h3, queen takes, rook takes. He did it. Queen d5. That's the only move I have. No worries. Did I watch Braden's stream? Sometimes I do. Sometimes when he's online, I watch him. I haven't watched it lately, though. Haven't watched it lately. Oh, man. How did this happen? All right. Oh, 
looks like a draw. I'll give you a draw, bro. You looking like a draw or no, nah, bro? Okay. Just bishops and pawns. Good job, A. Bizzle. With the draw. Because we got the bishops only. I think I had a slight advantage there. So let's see what happened. Very good job, A. B. Getting the draw. Let's see what happened. What could I have played better? I have to realize that AB is going to find good moves too. He's not just a regular garbage player. So, knight g6 takes, pawn takes, knight takes. I cast, so he took. Queen b6 would have ran into queen takes d6. Or actually, knight e7 check first. But queen b6, queen takes d6. Maybe king h8, and then bishop e3. Yeah, I'm not feeling that one too much. So, I followed up with queen c7. Good game. I played this way, so it wasn't boring. <laughs> He took great points, but his money didn't want to well play. Oh, absolutely, man. Well played, yeah. Usually, my rating goes down when I stream, actually. Or if I'm not, like, when I'm talking, because I'm, like, doing both, and I forget my time. But uh, after the stream, guys, I always go back online and just play. I just get my rating stupid high at that point. Highest I've been is, like, 25, 50, 2,600. That's the highest I've been online. So, uh, let's look at that. I want to drink a beer with Canty now. Hey, let's go, Spari. Drink a beer, bro. Pop one for me, please. I got shots in the freezer, so. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Wife's laughing at me. So, you know how I go. Drink a beer for me, bro. I got some, uh, some liquor in the freezer. What you say? Okay. So, I got lick in the freezer, big dog. All right, Queen C7. And then what happens after queen c7, knight d4? I take on c4 to threaten the knight. He goes there. Bishop b7 looks good. Is there anything else? I don't think there's anything else here. Bishop b7. Get that perfect. I want to. I'll pop one for you. <laughs> Thanks, Pari. Pop one for the both of us, big dog. I love that, man. I'm a butt like platinum guy myself because it got the highest percentage in the beer, 8%. Um, so I'm really loving those. Bishop b3, queen d5. What kind of liquor you guys? I'm all about that. Captain Morgan, Jay Panther, Joe Panther says that. Um, I mean, really anything. I mean, I, I'm more of a vodka guy myself. More vodka guy. Um, so I just like vodkas. Just depends on what it is and how I'm feeling. Even though I have to get up in three hours. Spar, you need to go to bed. You need to go to bed. What is wrong with you? Tell me you have to be up in three hours. What are you doing? Where are you going? Go to sleep right now. Thank you. Thanks for watching the stream. Bye. You need to go. Queen d5, f3. Okay. F3, Rick f8, maybe. Um, Abigail wants to be friends. Oh, yeah, bro. Of course, I'll add you on the on the chess.com real quick, brother, man. What you say? No. <laughs> Rook e8, bishop f2. So this is where I really got stuck in a minute. I I just didn't know where to go. Oh, this reminds me of coming in a 17-year-old seat. <laughs> I feel you, bro. I feel you, guys. I feel I am a 2600, but I'm 25. That's the difference. Um, bishop takes. Could I have taken here? No bishop takes. I don't know, man. I guess I'll check it out with the computer later. In Sweden, we drink vodka. Straight up, no fuzz. Ooh, Jackie, you are a savage. But you know what? My wife says the same thing about me because I do the same. Just straight up. Like, why wait? You know? Wait. And I was like, I will resign and order a beer. <laughs> That's what's up, bro. Resign and order that beer real quickly. All right, guys. Any more challenges in the chat, guys? Anyone else want to play? I'm going to go on a quick intermission if not. Anyone else want to play? Quick game. Five-minute game. Real fast. Let's see what we got in here real quick. We got about 15 viewers in the chat. 15 viewers watching. Thanks for all the people watching right now. If you haven't already, chess.com and look at the GM Factory. Actually, the GM Factory. Uh, the chatbot, Nightbot should do that for you soon. Follow me on Twitter at GM Canty. Thanks for watching the stream. Make sure you hit that follow button. After two tourneys, I'm chest out. Oh, I understand, man. Joe Panther, yeah, of course. All right, two tournaments? Yes. You have, who wouldn't be tired, man? That's very draining. One tournament, two, three days, nine rounds, all that brain power. It's a lot. I've been there. I've done that. Good job, man. How'd you place in those two tournaments, Joe Panther? How'd you place? I raised my blitz 40 points, even though I finished nine out of 11. Boy, that's nice. Good stuff, man. What's your blitz rate now? Where you at?
I think this is my homie Josh. Yeah, Josh is playing. He's online right now. Hmm. Whoa, that was a strong move, guys. If you check this out, Rook B3. Wow, man, what in the world was that? He can just play Queen Takes. Oh, no, he can't. Very good move. Oh, he's back in, guys. All right, let's play. Let's play the professor real quick. Professor, uh, wait, hold up. Let me. Um, how do I get out of this game? All right, cool. So I'm playing um, Professor Injala. Let's go. Hey guys, if you haven't followed the GM Factory yet or uh, became a part of the Chess Club, make sure that you go to chess.com and check chat right now. Nightbot has posted a link to get to um, our Chess Club. So definitely go to that. The GM Factory is the name of it where we make grandmasters or make you feel like you are a grandmaster. Okay, I don't know what he's doing right now. I don't know what this is, dog. Like, I have no idea, big dog. This seems pretty weird. Pretty freaking weird. Uh, castle? I mean, I don't know. I don't see why not, brother. Gotta redeem myself because he won the first game and I was moving too slow. So I need to move faster. G3, definitely. Now I'm gonna follow up bishop f3 and bishop g2 because queen h3 is probably coming. If you're gonna play queen h4, you probably play queen h3 too as well. Nine times out of ten. He didn't. Cool. So I think I'm completely winning at this point. I think he has a bad issue. If he takes the knight, I can take his knight. I'm threatening his bishop and I'm also threatening to take on b7. Yeah, he just sacked a piece. So at this point, when you have to sack a piece and you're already down material, it's not a good look, guys. It's not a good look. Oh, thanks for whatever that was. I think that was another follower or something. I just don't know. Sorry for that. Wait, let me see. Hold on. I can check it right here. Uh, B Pari? B Pari or something like that? I can't remember. Join the club. Thanks, JP. Appreciate it. Thanks for joining the club. You actually... One of the first joiners to join the club. Man, I just started that club today. So, thanks a lot on that. Okay, I'm backing that up real quick. Yeah, bro. We're going to have to trade something off if you want to play. Play. Let's play queen f3. Because he's probably going to probably put his queen on a white square. And uh, trade everything off. Which is that's just not going down. Not, not like that. Oh, whoa. What you doing? What you doing, bro? 94. 94. Okay, queen d5, queen f3. And I'm threatening out of 6. So, I have knight f6 is the next move if he doesn't do anything about it. So, let's see what he does. It could be really bad for him real quick. Knight g5. Hey, thanks for, uh, for the, I think that was another follow. Thanks a lot. Boom, I gave a method man quotas from the no, 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 club. Absolutely. Okay, sweet. Thanks a lot, guys. You are super awesome. Knight takes d6. Oh, I'm winning. Knight takes d6, bishop f4. Game over. Because he has to take it back. And if he doesn't, I'm going to play bishop f4 anyway. And then I'm going to take here. And we can call that a good game. I'm already up a whole rook now. GM Canty, yep, absolutely right. Uh, I'm only a national master, guys, but I play like a GM. And you always want to think that way about yourself so that you have a higher confidence level when you play. So I'm up a whole rook. So there's a saying when you're when you're up, you trade when you're up and not when you're down. When you're up material, you trade. Why not, right? Because if I trade off a queen and a rook, I'm up a whole rook. If I just trade pawns, then you know pieces are still on the board, and there are even some cases where you can be checkmated, even though you're up a piece. So be careful. Always trade when you're up, not when you're down. I'm all 2100 Patcher Lane. Shout out the chess coach. That's my guy. 2100 Patcher Lane. Whoa, that's me. What you doing, big dog? Yeah, 2100 Patcher Lane, baby. Yeah, I know that place. I know that place very well. And I also know everyone that stays on that block. 
Oh, good game, bro. Good game, Professor Injala. All right, let's play another one. Professor Injala is an awesome guy. Let's play him again, guys. Let's redeem ourselves in the Sicilian. I'll play a little faster and also better. Let's see what he does. Is he going to take with the queen now? No, he's playing a different line, I think. Cannot challenge you. Doesn't meet the opponent's settings, he says. Oh, wow. Sorry, bro. Let me take the settings off. I'll take them off, Jackie. I'll take them off in a minute. I think I have it set to anyone under, like, minus 200 or something like that. Uh, I can only play people under, like, 2,000 and above, basically, is my limit. So, I will... Uh, remove that and we'll be cool what's up man what's the story Spari? what you got what story are you looking at bro what you got for me what you got for me Spari? uh i think he was supposed to play f5 i think he meant to play f5 and it might have mouse slip i mean g4 sorry i think that's what he meant to play Uh, okay. What happened last time I did this? I don't remember. I think he played something weird. Let's see what happens, bro. Because I don't really know. Oh, he went through the line that he ain't supposed to. In my last turn, I was playing a conditional match with an IM. After 10 minutes of playing, five people averaged ELO 2,500 plus. Ran upstairs to look who were fighting. Wow. Boy, that's nice. Um, so I'm assuming you lost that game because he was how high rated he was. But uh, how did you do? Did you win any? Like how did that go? It's always good playing these strong IMs and GMs. So uh, at 24 midnight, five people average I'm looking at <laughs> totally out of breath. Oh man, that's great. Totally out of breath. Uh, which guy are you talking about, Jackie? Uh, we had a few actually, which is sad to say. Um, but we did have a few that had uh, that same situation. Um, do you mean in Michigan or do you mean um, like nationally? I do remember a few that had that same issue. Condition chess is not for everyone. You are right, Spari. You are right. Cheers. All right, guys. This is going to be my last game for now. And then I'm going to check some stuff. And I may be back. So if you're on the stream watching right now, definitely check out. I'm going to be on Facebook and Twitter posting before... I actually let you guys know that I am streaming, so I will be on there later. Just give me a chance. I'm actually going to do my thing in a minute. Just let me uh, finish this game up real quick. The guy was only rated 1930, so I would have tried to grab him down. Absolutely. Oh, in the middle of the game? Yeah. Jackie, uh, I, I, hey, we just have to um, really say rest in peace to him, honestly. I mean, he just it, he didn't recover from the stroke. So, excellent player. Um, I GM strength actually he has a book out I've read it a few times already did you just lose a piece first off so it's um yes he did uh he unfortunately passed away but we I do have his book I have a book that was written about him and I, I've read I've read it a few times so I'm sorry to hear that man. that's what I mean I could have took on G3 and it took the rook no not that that's no good we don't need to do all that So I'm going to swing my knight around because he's going to play g4. And I'm going to swing my knight around. There we go. See? When you're a master and above grandmaster, you can um, start to predict moves very quickly. Rook takes, rook takes, knight takes, and rook's coming down to e3 very quickly. 
Oh, I could have played Knight H4. I definitely missed my shot there, guys. But that's okay. I'm just going to take all his pawns. So there's no way. Good night, guys. Getting late in Pittsburgh. Got to be up at 5 a.m. All right, Joe Panther. Hey, thanks for watching the chat, man. There are... Where this this chat is only great because of people like you, man. Thanks a lot. I appreciate you, you coming to watch us. I'll be in tomorrow. I may be in early, but of course, I do have the schedule up on my page already. So definitely go watch that. Thanks a lot, Joe Panther, man. See you later, big, big dog. See you later, buddy. Thanks for watching. Yikes, mate with a pawn, guys. And that's a wrap, guys. I am out of here for now. So I may be back tonight. I may not. I'm just going to take a quick break and uh, relax for a minute. So thanks a lot, guys. Thanks for watching the stream. Thanks for all the followers today and uh, the few subscribers and the bits and the donations. Everything is definitely appreciated. So thanks so much for watching the stream. I will be back very soon. And uh, I'm just going to keep it on um, on um, intermission so that maybe I'll be back. Maybe I won't. But we'll see. Thanks so, thanks so much for watching. And thanks for, uh, for playing with me today, all the games today, guys. Make sure you follow me on Twitter at GMCanty. I will follow you back um, also on tw uh, Twitch. Follow me on the Twitch. Make sure you follow me on the Twitch, Twitter, and uh, Facebook. will be James Canty the third. Make sure you have the Discord link. You can scroll through the chat and find that. Or you can uh, send me a message to figure that out as well. And lastly, the Chess Club on Chess.com. It's also the GM Factory, which is also in the chat. So uh, thanks, guys. Thanks for coming out. Peace.